This is gonna be super easy. All you're gonna need is a pouch or a wallet in the size of your choice. I found this one for less than $6 with a 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby. And then you're gonna need some E6000 glue and the patch of your choice. Patches are super popular all over Walt Disney World right now. I found this one on eBay for less than $3. So you guys, this is ridiculously easy. You just put your E6000 glue in a very, very thin layer all over the patch. Then I decided to use one of my sponge brushes and spread it out just a little bit because although I did choose black so it wouldn't show up, I really don't want it oozing out. So I decided to spread that out as much as possible and get some of the thickness away from the edges. Your very last step is to just place your patch in the middle of whatever bag or wallet that you would like to use and press firmly. I did sit a candle on top of mine when I was finished and let it sit for several hours because I wanted to make sure that that did dry evenly and that there were no gaps on the outside. And that's it guys, it's completely finished. How adorable is this? Perfect size for your phone, unless you have a plus sized iPhone or something like that, but it's perfect size and you could throw your gum in there and maybe a fuel rod and like a little money clip or something or put a couple of cards in your ID. It's perfect size for that and it's not gonna take up a lot of space, it's not bulky. It's perfect to go with any little Disney bounding outfit and I absolutely love it and can't wait to take it to the parks. So here are the items that you need for the next project and it's perfect for using up all of those park maps that you get in all of your subscription boxes. We went to Lowe's and those tiles I think are 4x4 four four and they were 15 cents each so I paid 60 cents for 4 tiles and I realized that I have 3 here It's because 1 is off frame. And then um, I have some Disney park maps, I have some Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree. It says that they are square cork coasters, um, and I got these at Hobby Lobby for $2.99. I think that they were half off that day, but um, I wanted to put these on the bottom so that the rough edges of the back of the tile um, didn't scratch any surfaces. And then we're just gonna need a foam brush to put the Mod Podge on. You're gonna need some scissors and an ink pen, and then that is it. I'm going to place the coaster exactly where I want it. And so because I want it on um, Future World, I'm just going to place it over and then we're gonna trace around it. And then you're gonna cut it out just a little smaller than what you traced. Next, go in with a thin amount of Mod Podge and just spread it over the entire surface of the tile as well as around the edges. Next, you're going to go in with your park map and lay it in the center. Obviously, while it's still wet, you can move it, but once it's set, you won't be able to move it. So make sure that you lay it exactly where you want, and if you have anything that hangs over, you can definitely go back and trim it. I will say that there will be bubbles, so you want to make sure to start from the center and press out to try to get any lines, wrinkles, or bubbles out in the very beginning, because later on they will kind of bump up again, and you'll want to keep pressing that out and making sure that you try to get as many out as possible. And you can see here that mine hung over just a little bit, so I went back and trimmed the edges off. Now you're going to go back in with the Mod Podge and add a very thin layer over the entire park map, making sure to get the edges and the corners completely covered. You're going to want to repeat this process for all four tiles and once the Mod Podge has dried, go ahead and hit it again with another layer and let it dry completely.
and this is how it turned out. I'm in love with it. I think it looks so cool. This one I used um, with Hollywood Studios. You can see the Tower of Terror. And you guys know I love the Flower and Garden Festival, so I had to use that part of the Epcot map. But you could do um, one per park. You could do so many different things. Excuse me for the reach. So many different possibilities with those park maps to make them really your own. So to add the corks to the actual tile, all you need to do is hit it with a very thin layer of E6000 glue and let it dry. Oh, the joys of filming. Sometimes you forget to hit record, so you guys didn't see me paint that, but you did see a small photo of the actual paint that I did use to paint this and we're just gonna move forward. So what I'm doing now is painting with a darker green the strip that is the Mad Hatter's ribbon around his hat, the one that holds the card in. So that's what we're doing right now, and all of you people that are wonderful artists, don't get mad at me uh, for not taping this off. I just didn't really wanna get it out, to be honest. I am super exhausted, and I wanted to freehand it and just do it without the painter's tape in case someone else didn't have painter's tape. They wouldn't have to worry about purchasing any. I try to do my DIYs as low cost as possible. So it's not something that's super necessary, but yeah, of course it's a little bit crooked and we're just gonna roll with it. After that is dried, I'm going in with this little white chalk marker to outline the actual card that sits in the ribbon. So I'm just going to draw that on as best as I can. And then I will follow it up with the white paint, which you will see that I also forgot to hit record. This is probably the most ridiculous DIY ever. I apparently can't get it together today, but... It's still such a cute craft. I did not want to scratch it completely because I thought someone else who loves the Mad Hatter might also want to do it. So here is where we lost that footage of the card being painted white and I'm going in with this black paint pen and I'm just going to be drawing the 10 and 6 on.
Now I'm going back with that chalk pen and just kind of cleaning up some of the extra black marker that did not need to be on there, giving it a little cleaner look. And here are all three completed projects. I hope that you enjoyed it, even though I did not have my stuff together today. I said that I love doing crafts. I didn't say I was great at it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.